Hello everyone. So I'm just getting in the house from new to my chores tonight. And uh, I got the house to myself. Uh, my wife, Lindsay's a nurse and she's doing a night shift. And so it's just me and the dogs tonight. And I figured I'd work on our, this video. So I'd like to tell you right off the bat that this isn't, uh, this isn't a farming video or ranching video at all. Uh, me and Lindsay ended up going on a little vacation. So we, we spent uh, about 10 days traveling around and we just needed to get out of the snow for a little bit. And well, Lindsay's due with our baby the first part of May. So we figured, figured we better go do a little vacation before, before we had the baby. And uh, so what we did is we spent a couple days in Salt Lake where Lindsay's parents live. And so we spent a couple days down there. Then we flew to San Antonio, Texas. And from there we rented a car and road tripped back back here uh, back here Wyoming and uh, we just took a few video clips along the way and if you guys are interested you can stick around and watch that and if not you just go on to the next video because the next one will I'm sure will be about farming and ranching just figured I'd give you guys a heads up before you got too far into the video so like I was saying we flew into San Antonio Texas and was one of the first things we did when we got there is we went on a, a riverboat tour then we went and also saw the the Alamo and we went and saw a bunch of those old Spanish missions that are in the area. And that was all, all really cool stuff, and I really enjoyed it. I'm against downtown, everybody. Each one was put together like this. One by one by one by one by one. One by one by one by one by one. <laughs> yes, dear buddy. Take a look here to the left side at the Hilton Palacio. Get out of my video. <laughs> so after a couple days in San Antonio, we started a road trip. And on that first day, we ended up driving to uh, Roswell, New Mexico. And of course, you can't go to Roswell without seeing the aliens. <laughs> so after we spent the night in Roswell, we spent the next day um, road tripping to a place, a little town called Gallup, New Mexico. And as we were driving to Gallup, we ended up stopping at a, a cool national monument called Bandelier National National Monument. And what's in Bandelier is uh, they've got a bunch of cliff dwellings that the Indians had made, I think, four or five hundred years ago, if I remember right. So we got to stop there, and we spent. Oh, a good three, four hours probably hiking around there and exploring that. And that, that's probably one of my favorite things we did. I loved going and seeing those, those cliff dwellings and, and all that kind of old um, ancient stuff. And it just, it all fascinates me. I love the archaeology and whatnot. And so we, we got to do a couple of videos there and I got to spend the day exploring that place. And that was really neat. Say hi, Linz. <laughs> Say hi, baby. Baby says hi. Lindsay, don't dance like that, please. <laughs> Lindsay, quit. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> quit farting. Stop it healing. I'm not farting. <laughs> Come, keep going, Linz. What's in there? There's nothing in there? No. You want to have the baby in there? No. <laughs> well, it came in a hole. Yeah. Okay. 
That's it's not very big. All right, I made it up to the top of them ladders. This is what's up here, kind of a big old cave. I guess you'd call it a cave, cavern-like. We got some kind of structure up here. Ah, pretty cool though. I love this kind of stuff. It's fascinating, I think. But it's definitely beautiful up here. We got a little bit of snow on the other side of the hills and ah, great weather. I bet it's mid 50s, maybe low 60s. I'm gonna start heading back down. Lindsay waited for me down there at the bottom. So I'll go down there and meet up with her again. Let's see if I can see her down here. is. See right down there. So this is the first ladder, second ladder. I think there's four ladders if I remember right going back down. So no it's a great great little hike. I'm gonna start heading back down and start hiking out. It's about four o'clock I believe, 3 30 maybe. See you guys down at the bottom. So I made it down the, the third ladder. So this is the third ladder. This is the longest one. So you go up to the top of this one, then there's one more, or sorry, there's two more. There's one, then another one up to the very top. And we still got one more down here at the bottom. There's Lindsay down there. Lindsay, you should wave. Oh, there she is. She's waving. <laughs> All right, just one more ladder to go. All right, I'm down at the bottom now. This is the this one here. This is the last ladder. So like I said, there's four ladders getting to the top. This is the first one. So this is what the bottom looks like. A bunch of ponderosa pines and there's a little creek down here, flowing right through there. So we made it down to the bottom. That's cool up there. Like I said, we just, we've been hiking. This is probably a two mile hike up here. Not too bad, it should be flat for the most part. So we'll go meet up with Lindsay and head on down. See, there's another door and a fawn. Oh yeah. So after spending the night in, in Gallup, we road tripped over to Flagstaff, Arizona. And along the way, we stopped at a, a cool national park called uh, Petrified Forest National Park. And that was really cool too. I'd, I'd never seen petrified wood and they had just tons of petrified wood all over the place. And that was really cool seeing all that. No, you're supposed to look like a ding dong. How's that? <laughs> oh, good ones.
Show you a close up of what it looks like. So, this is petrified wood. If you, if you feel it, it feels just like, just like a rock. Yeah, super hard and feels just like a rock wood. And they got these chunks all over the place. Petrified wood. Super cool. And like I said, oh, they're all over the place. Every one of these logs of petrified wood. Also on that same day, we went and saw the southern, um, the southern area of the Grand Canyon. So we spent the night in Flagstaff, and I have to say I love Flagstaff. I thought it was a really cool, cool place. Remind me a lot of home. You know, they're up pretty high. I think they said about 7,000 feet. And so it kind of reminded me of home. They had some snow and all the trees and the mountains, and that was a pretty neat place. So from Flagstaff, we started making our journey over towards St. George, Utah. And along the way, we made a couple stops. And one of the first stops we made that day was at a place called Walnut Canyon. And Walnut Canyon is really cool. It was, it was very similar to um, the Bandelier National Park or National, Mon National Monument where they had these, um, these cliff, cliff dwellings. The Indians had made these cliff dwellings in these, in these cliffs right under these ledges. And um, that was really cool to see. We, so we got to hike around in there and walk through those a little bit. Then after that, we went up to an area called Horseshoe Bend. And I, I'd say, I'd recommend Horseshoe Bend to anybody. That was one of the highlights, highlight, uh, highlights of the trip, going up there and seeing Horseshoe Bend. That was a really cool area. And then after that, we just continued on our journey and, made it over to St. George um, that evening. So this is called Walnut Canyon. There's my beautiful wife. Um, yep. <laughs> so they built their homes under these cliff ledges. And look over here. You can see the other ones. They built them all along these cliffs. There's a couple more over there. Pretty cool.
So this one here, I guess, is one that they, the park service reconstructed to give you an idea of what they'd look like. Big room. Yeah. The family room. The family room. I can't really see it in there. Got themselves a little step. Kind of gives you an idea. Ah! <laughs> it scared me. So maybe it's for sale. We could put it on for them, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at those tiny doors. Who would fit through those tiny doors? I wouldn't fit through them tiny doors. Oh. Those are pretty. Small doors. Yeah. They'd have to turn sideways. I wanted to show you what one of these rooms look like. They let you go in this one here, so I'm gonna step in here and show you. Not very big. Maybe I don't know. It looks about like 10, 10 by 15. A nice view though, that's for sure. So Lindsay's parents have a camper in an RV spot there in, in St. George, Utah. And Lindsay's mom came down and for the weekend and spent a couple of days with us that while we were in St. George. And so we stayed in their camper with them, um, her mom and her brother, Jake. We had a lot of fun there and enjoyed a lot of that nice weather. And uh, that was a great way to end our trip. And then from St. George, we just rode a trip back home to Wyoming. Um, we made that trip in, in one day the, from St. George to Wyoming. That was about an eight hour, eight hour drive. And so we went from the 75 degree heat to snow and ice once we got back home. So we're in St. George, Utah, which is in Southern Utah. And uh, this is our last stop on our trip. That means Lindsay are on. And uh, it's March 6th today. I bet it's close to 60, 65 degrees right now. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So March 6th. And these guys already have alfalfa growing. It's crazy. Yeah, they got alfalfa growing. And we're still in, we still got three feet of snow back home and they're growing alfalfa already. Yeah, makes you kind of regret your life decisions sometimes when you see something like that. But definitely a nice day out here. Just wanted to show you guys that. So it's March 7th. We're just getting home from our vacation. Just barely pulled into the driveway. Still in my shorts and stuff from St. George this morning. And this is what we come home to. This is what it looks like still in Star Valley, March 7th. Yeah. Can't deny it's pretty, but we're sick of the snow. We just want to fast forward about six weeks just get all the snow melted and get through the mud season and we'd be happy. So 
yeah just wanted to show you guys that kind of comical i guess so we're gonna get unpacked and get ready for work tomorrow so when you live on a ranch and a farm you can't ever go anywhere without doing a lot of planning and forethought on who's going to take care of things while you're gone and away but luckily for us um you know my dad took care of our cows and kept them fed and my mom also came around and helped us out a bit too, taking care of our chickens. And she sent me a couple of videos while we were gone and I figured I'd add them just cause I um, just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you and thanks for all you do for us and letting us get out every now and then. Okay, Brian, I changed my mind. A little darkness never hurt anybody, but I made it to the end of the lane and you can notice there's no cows standing here bawling. They're all over there by the feeders. So I guess that means they're getting fed and they don't seem the least bit interested in me. So I think your dad must be doing his job. Hope you guys are having a good time. I don't see any calves. I wouldn't see them if, if they were there. So anyway, I made it. You can put me in your next YouTube video, okay? How's that sound? Okay, bye bye. Here I am, ready for my debut. There you go. Everything's good. Love you. Bye bye. This is where I came from. Heading back. If you don't hear from me, I'm looking.